this is Elise. Thanks for joining. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to work with one contact in your contact manager. From your contact manager, click on a contact you'd like to work with. In this example, we'll select Elise Trainer. The top section of your screen displays basic information about Elise. In the bottom section, you're able to view all activities scheduled or activities that have already happened. There's also an action navigation menu on the right hand side of your screen allowing you to work with this contact. To view more detailed information about this contact, click View Contact Details in the action menu on the right. Here, you're able to view more information about this customer by clicking the corresponding tab on the right. After viewing the information you're looking for, click Done. If you'd like to edit this contact's information, simply click Edit Contact Details. Edit the section you'd like to change and click Save. Note, if you'd like more information on how to send a marketing email or send a text email, please view the How to Send an Email tutorial in the Help Center. To add a note in this contact's profile, simply click on Add Note. Type in a subject line and enter more detailed information in the Notes section. Next, click Add. Now that we created a note for Elise Trainer, you can see the note under the View Notes section. To schedule a meeting, simply click on Schedule Meeting. To select a date for this meeting, click on the calendar icon. Select the time of the meeting. And select a priority. If you'd like a reminder, select when you'd like to receive an email prior to the meeting. Next, enter a subject line for your meeting. And enter any notes that you'd like to include in the notes section. Enter a duration for your meeting. If you'd like to set a recurrence for this meeting, click on Recurrence. Select how often you'd like this meeting to recur with an option to add an end date. This particular meeting is not recurring, so we'll click Cancel. Next, click Add to add this meeting to your calendar. Note that the meeting we just scheduled is now in the View Meeting section of this contact's profile. To view the meeting we just scheduled in your calendar, simply go to the Calendar section of your account. We scheduled our meeting for Wednesday, December 29th. To view the specific details of the meeting, click on the link. Here, you're also able to modify the meeting we scheduled. All events in the calendar are color coordinated. Note, to schedule an important date, phone call, or task, Follow the same steps for scheduling a meeting. To view all emails sent to this customer, click on the View Emails button. For additional information about an email, click on the date that it was sent. Here, you're able to see the exact date and time this email was sent, what the subject line of the email was, the email address it was sent to, and if the email was opened or not. If the email was opened, the date and time the email was opened will be displayed. If the email was not opened, this space will be blank. If you'd like to see the entire email you sent, simply click on the Preview button. If you'd like to view any tasks, meetings, calls, or important dates for this contact, Click on the appropriate button. To print letters and labels, simply click on the Print Letters and Labels button in the Action menu on the right. If you'd like to create a letter for a customer, click on the Letters button. 
type in a subject line if you'd like to include one, and your message in the body of the letter. When finished, click Submit. Once you click Submit, the contact's name and address will automatically populate into the letter. Click Open to view the letter in Microsoft Word. Here, you're able to view, make any changes, and print your letter. To create a label for your letter, click on the Labels button. To view the labels, click Download and then open to open your label in Microsoft Word. Again, you're able to view, make necessary changes, and print your label. To create an envelope for this letter, click on the Envelopes button. To view, edit, and print the envelope, click Download, and then open to open your envelope in Microsoft Word. This is an example of what your envelope will look like. If you'd like to print a customer's contact information, click on the Print Contact Info button in the Action menu. The information will be formatted so you can easily read the print version. To delete a contact from your contact manager, simply click on the Delete Contact button. Note, completing this action will permanently delete this contact and all information associated with this contact. To add a customer to a campaign, click on the Add to Campaign button in the Action Navigation menu. Select the campaign you'd like to add them to by clicking the radio button to the left of the campaign and select Submit. A message will display informing you if the contact has the required information. For example, if this was a multi-channel campaign, we'd need to have a valid email address and valid mailing address. If this was a birthday or purchase anniversary campaign, we'd need to have their birthday or purchase anniversary dates and their contact information. This screen also displays the cost to add this contact to the campaign. This campaign is an email campaign, so there is no charge to add a contact to this campaign. Check the radio box to approve this contact to be added to the campaign, and then click on Add contacts to campaign. A message will display informing you that the contact has been added to this campaign successfully. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.